My name is Charlotte Evans and I'm the Harris Federation Literacy Lead as well as working at Harris Academy Peckham as an assistant principal. The Harris Federation is made up of 32 secondary schools now as well as primary schools but our role is across the secondary sector. We work as a network however each school has its own unique identity it's its own unique vision we are all of the exact same belief that socio and economic background should never determine someone's outcome and therefore while we are all individual and that's amazing to be able to work with uh, we do all come together on one big umbrella and one purpose literacy is a core principle of everything that we do at the federation it was named as a priority this year since I stepped in as secondary director. Our mission, and, and it's very much part of our values and vision, is to make sure that every single child is an eloquent speaker, reader, writer and listener. And in order for them to go out into the world, no matter what they do, no matter what career they go into, they will need to be able to speak eloquently and with confidence. And if they don't have the the lexicon which will put them onto the same echelon as their peers who may have gone to grammar schools then I don't feel that we're not actually succeeding in our role. Our strategy and our reasoning for taking Bedrock Federation wide was very much rooted in the idea that every single human being on this planet requires vocabulary to be successful and it doesn't matter if we are looking at our most able readers or students who are still struggling with reading, vocabulary is universal. And vocabulary is the access point to the curriculum. Vocabulary is the access point to the world. And, and therefore, our biggest vision was that every single child was given the opportunity to build that vocabulary outside of the classroom. Bedrock got incredible feedback from the students in my class and therefore we chose to scale up and we went whole school and then we scaled up again when I took on the role of Federation Literacy Lead and we have now got it in every single one of our Harris Federation secondaries. When I first arrived here at Harris Academy Peckham, even though I was principal, I was asked to teach, teach a Year 7 class and it was Bedrock Learning. And in that moment, in this very library, I had one of the best lessons ever. I loved bedrock learning and I could see how engaged the students were, how they were able to access vocabulary, how they were able to make progress on books and words that they'd learned. And from that point, I was sold. As we do in the Federation, the minute we find a product that's really good, we want to share it because if it's working well somewhere, we'll want to spread that. I was lucky enough to change my role and move from being a, single, a principal of a single school to, to multiple schools. And because we had got the evidence to say that this was impacting students at, at different levels, we were able therefore to, to market it elsewhere. As with anything successful, it snowballs and success breeds success. And so it was quite easy to then bring on other schools. And it was mainly through Charlotte, the literacy lead, who was able to go in, troubleshoot with personnel who were not finding the time to make it work properly um, or needed more explanation of what the benefits were. So we were able to deploy a team that could go in and, and show others how it could work. And Beckenham became a bit of a, a beacon of excellence for other people to visit and say, this is how it can actually impact overall. It can have a huge impact on students. Their inspiration, they will choose more complex texts. They will write more complex texts. I think we needed that. We needed excellence to prove to other people this is an investment. All 32 of our secondary academies are now fully fledged, signed up members of the Bedrock crew. And this is because we have been able to demonstrate excellence in other places. We, as a federation, use the same baseline data for reading across our, all of our schools. What that enables us to do is make really clear decisions based on the individual context of a school and help build and share best practice around the most appropriate interventions. We're very lucky working with Bedrock and, and some of the data that they provide is really, really useful. I send that data across to every literacy lead um, across the Federation. I also send the data to Rebecca Hickey, our secondary director. She follows it through with her weekly meetings and I follow it through with the literacy strand. What that means is it's on everyone's agenda. So if there are any troubles, people are ready to ask. They know that as a group there is, there is best practice to be shared and we're able to do that. I meet with the literacy leads every half term and we get together, there's always a bedrock kind of teach meet within that session. People are sharing what they're doing. We've had bedrockathons, we've had bedrock pizza parties, we've had bedrock competitions across, across quadrants of schools. 
And that's the celebration part. But then it's also really good to hear what are the rewards and sanctions very clearly being put in place to ensure that because we know this is a programme that works, our students participate in it very, very regularly as part of their homework. The expectation of us doing well in Bedrock comes from far above and it is across the Federation and the expectation is that all principals should drive Bedrock learning throughout their academies. So yes, it is a quite competitive and we don't like to lose. So we are doing our best to ensure our students do really well, but also that we're really proud that we are doing well as an academy and that we are celebrating Bedrock. When I visit a school and I speak to a child that has immersed themselves in Bedrock, and they can show off to me the new words that they have been introduced to and that they can use correctly in context and with confidence. That means that we're doing our job well. That means that we as a federation are moving students forward and into a point of excellence. As a literacy lead overseeing 32 secondary schools, it's a massive challenge. Bedrock Learning certainly gives me the insight and the possibility of penetrating the literacy vision within each of those schools. What's kept it running is the fact that we do, from the, from the assistant directors, performance management is associated with it, the priority of the entire federation is associated with it, so we're not going to let go. We're going to keep on monitoring and making sure that our young people are working really well with it. When I look back at the journey that we have had with Bedrock Learning, starting from that one top set year nine class at Harris Beckenham, moving to across every secondary academy, I'm incredibly proud and more, most importantly, I'm incredibly proud of our staff and our students who've made that work. Our students who tirelessly log on every day because they understand how important vocabulary is to their futures. And therefore, I'm really pleased with the journey we've been on and I do hope to see that continue to grow as Bedrock Learning continues to grow and adapt with new platforms uh, and new opportunities for us to embrace.